And then I'll just talk a little bit about CAS and FES and these development agencies or partners. Mm -hmm. We have tried for many times to seek help for, from these organizations for training of LPM members, for workshops, for land conference financing, and so on. And you can see that some of these institutions proclaim to come from democratic countries and proclaim to come to help advance, deepen, and expand democracy. Except when they come to Southern African countries where there are resources and where their national governments have a particular policy towards uh, ruling parties. FES and CAS and these like organizations are merely here to expand the reach and the strength of corrupt ruling parties. Even while we were a civil society organization, they were just, they were giving us meetings, yes, but they were playing politics and they think we don't know politics. They don't finance workshops and leadership training and all other smaller things that institutions like LPM want. They go for training of highly incapacitated, untrainable uh, members of ruling parties. Uh, and it's said that they proclaim democratic credentials for their national countries, that their countries have worked very well, that their countries have democratic records and they're here to promote that type of thing. But in practice, they prefer to do loose, non committal type of uh, activities like unnecessary talk shows, inviting people with no substance, and they balloon these things as important, and NBC and others will go and cover some of those things, and therefore in their annual reports they have done a couple of things in promotion of democracy. But not real democracy. Not real democracy. So we are not happy with those institutions, and, and we, we feel that they are a disservice to the redefinition of democracy. Countries like Namibia cannot necessarily, in terms of some theory, theorists, be called democracies, really. What they say is that you must have a second and third cycle um, of, of governance processes. In other words, what they say is a country can only claim to be a democracy once a ruling party was defeated and some other people came to govern and a genuine contest for power and ideas begins to emerge. We will say we are a democracy because we have apparently free and fair elections, we have uh, free media, uh, and the international community comes and declares also the elections free and fair. That is not the depth that democracy seeks to attain. There must be winners, and sometimes those winners must also end up being losers. That's how you renew democracy. That's how you deepen it. That is why Zimbabwe can never be called a democracy because when Tsongirai won, the military said, we are not going to salute an NDC man because we are ZANU. It's not democracy. There was elections, yes. They were observers. People went and cast the ballot, but it's not a democracy. So these are some of the institutions that are state-sponsored, anti-democratic institutions in foreign countries, particularly in African countries. They cannot be democratic institutions that stand for democracy. 